artificial intelligence trained me and did it better than a human. But it completely failed one thing. Each of us started our riding adventure on the training ground with a horse but also with a human. This human instructor, trainer was an essential element for U.S. to be able to work with the horse. At some point there appears there is a threat, a threat in the form of new technologies that provide new opportunities, but we did not expect that it would also enter the equestrian world. And what it turned out to be, I asked chat GPT about the possibility of conducting me riding training and training in working with a horse and what he wrote, what he told me, what he showed me, completely surprised me. First the question I asked him, one want to start training with a horse and what do you recommend for me? At the very beginning. First learn the basics of horse theory. Understanding the behavior of their horses. needs and basic safety rules are crucial. Then building. Trust and relationship with the horse is a key element. Spend time with the horse outside of training. Learn to understand it. Observe its behavior. And here I was surprised how many trainers and instructors put emphasis on understanding the psychology of the horse in building a relationship with How many with times it. we heard only get on the horse and run. Left, right, trot, gallop, jump. This obstacle. There was no word at all at the beginning about building a relationship and about understanding his psychology. I asked the GPT chat instructor about another thing. That is, specifically, I'm going to the training ground. And what specific exercises do you recommend for at me? At the very beginning. It's worth starting at the training ground. It's worth starting with the basic exercises and running in a circle. Lead the horse with a loose bridle around you. This is a good exercise to start training. It allows you to build relationships and synchronize movements. And here he surprised here me. he really surprised me. How many times we start training from working from the ground. And here he specifically gave a specific In my exercise, opinion, the most which I very thing. often show during classes, which is the foundation for our further work, i.e. sending back. It could be compared to lunging. But how many riders even lunge the horse before getting on? Why do they do Communicate it? Communicate to catch this common language to build this relationship before we get into the saddle. This is the first element time GPT has just become a trainer. Who knows how to effectively conduct training and what exercises are best for us. But artificial intelligence must have some limitations. He gave but us some recipe. we can also recipe. take the recipe from books. Or if I have the problem with getting the horse onto the that circle, is, he the suggested exercise is whether it will help or will me. he get out of his coats. He will stand in front of me and show me how, how to, to solve this the problem. I asked him a question. This is what he replied to if me. If the horse has difficulties with getting in on the circle, it could be caused by a few you. different things. Check for any health problems. Build trust and rapport. If your horse is struggling, he may need more time. To build trust and rapport with you, use cues and cues with your body. Hand movements and light cues should be used in a calm and clear way to convey the desired commands to the horse. Sometimes horses need more time to understand and learn a new exercise. It is important to be patient and consistent in learning. Said something at the moment. That is crucial for this type of exercise. Why the horse doesn't get on the circle. Why it limps in a certain place in front of us and is unable to go where we want and drew attention to a key element. We are often not aware of how certain elements work that these are signals that the horse receives and responds to. Are we positioned frontally towards I him? Are we positioned this way? Look, he mentioned it. I'm standing in he front of the horse. He doesn't want to get into the circle. What should I do? Chat. Start from a state of calm. When the horse is focused on you, it will be easy for him to understand your signals. It's brilliant tip, i.e. focusing on yourself, starting from level zero and only then moving to on, to giving the horse a signal. This is crucial. How should the horse react to our signals? If he is not looking at us at if all, if he is not focused on what we are telling him at all, let's see what he tells us next. Start by leading the horse around you in a straight section, allow him to get used to movement around your axis. Mm -hmm. 
Great, that is. We are already introducing him We are letting him learn our signals that we give him in the direction in which he should go. Great exercise. Let's see what he says Return pay attention to your body. Changing the direction of your gaze, turning your arms, or changing the position of your legs. That it should move around you. Make light movements of your hands in the direction in which you want to move. May be helpful. For example, gently raising your hand towards the circle. Maybe a signal to move. If the horse doesn't respond to subtle cues, you can use gentle stimuli such as lightly touching or tapping the horse's to get him to move in the right direction. That is, using additional aids in the form of a whip, as I often show in my videos. On the first side, show on the second side. This way you Close encourage the horse him to get whip. away from the pressure and go to where he is invited. Let's go further. I would like you to draw it for me. He told me that no, but he wrote to me that he can describe to me exactly how I should position myself in relation to the horse. Find yourself in the central point of the circle that you want the horse to circle. Your body should be directed straight in the direction you want the horse to go. Maintain a safe distance from the to horse to ensure freedom of movement, but at the same time close enough for you to effectively communicate with him. Focus on looking where you want the horse to go. Your gaze can be a strong signal to the horse where he should go. This tip, I think, is the most crucial here, and I will tell you, the chat really he hit it. Why most people fail to lead the horse to the circle. It is a control of our eyesight. I also see it. People often have problems with leading the horse when they give him contradictory signals to go there, and he tells them, look there, go there, show the horse to go there. But people are watching at the because horse because they want to control it. They want to see what's they going on. They want to see for sure if it's working. And they see it's not working, and it's that not is, working. Why? Looking because affects the horse. I will tell you a story. Where they trained horses to be sent, to be led on a circle, and they kept sending it to the owners. But it happened that the owner called and Sir, said, but my horses don't get on the circle at all. What happened? They are standing in front of them, and they don't want to go out on the circle at all. And okay, so I know what it's about. He sent a man and showed them that the only thing they had to was do was to stand in front of this horse again and look where he was supposed what to go. What the horses did and exactly the same. They turned around and rode behind I eyesight. eyesight is crucial. Chat GPT knows such details of the equestrian world. He can catch these elements. I also asked asked him about a few other issues, namely, whether he can solve horse's problems. I have such a problem because my horse does not want to enter the horse cart. Do you have any solutions for me? Please make sure that make the horse sure trailer is in good technical condition without sharp edges or factors that could disturb the horse. Ensure the stability and safety of the vehicle. Bring the horse closer to the horse trailer. Gradually the horse let get used to the presence of the vehicle. For example, by exposing it to its sight for a few days, letting it sniff and around and familiarize him with the smell. Start with working on the rope. Lead the horse next to the horse car, allowing him to gradually get used to its presence. Step by step, lead the horse towards the Stopping horse Stopping for a moment when you approach it. Let the horse stop. Sniff and accept the presence of the car. Reward the horse for positive reactions, using treats or praise. This will help build positive associations with the horse cart. We are slowly approaching the greatest secret of the GPT that chat. Is, the moment when he finally made a mistake. And maybe this will be the moment. I wrote to him. Well, do me what every instructor can do, i.e. give him I need specifics. I have an hour of training with a horse, so give me the exercises that I should or could do during such a training. Please give me specifics. Duration of training, 60 minutes. Warm up, 10 minutes. 5 minutes of walking on a loose lunge in both directions. Changing direction every minute. 5 minutes working in the riding arena. At a tempo walking. Making circles. Changing direction. Changing pace. Working in the riding arena 20 min. 5 min trotting left and right for an Driving. even pace and maintaining stability. 5 min alternating trot and gallop in both directions. Paying attention to the precision of changing pace. 5 minute making arcs. 
Paying attention to balance and precision of the horse's movement. Five minute volts on the corners of the square. Paying attention to uniform length and precision of jumps. 15 minutes. Five minute of jumping on small obstacles at a galloping pace. Five minute of jumping on larger obstacles at a galloping pace. Five minute of jumping alternately left and right while maintaining balance and precision. Relaxation and cooling. 10 minute. Five minute walk on a lunge in both directions at a leisurely walking pace. Five minute leisurely walk. Oh. this rain around the area, allowing the horse to relax its muscles. I honestly admit that such training sessions were often specific. How what exercise? Absolutely, he replaced the basic instructor. But what about the competition? Here we come to the most interesting element, because I wanted him to draw a dressage routine for me that I could practice for the competition, and he did really well. He started with something like this. I thought that the trainers would lose their jobs, but I asked him to draw a path for me. He drew something like this, then something like this, then something like this started to get weirder and weirder. I told him that these points can't change. He told me, but they don't change. It was a bit difficult to get along with him. At this point, the GPT chat is great. A text-based tool that can find solutions. Too many problems or guide our training with a horse. It can also detect elements that are most likely to explain why we are not successful with a given Yet. horse. And it has not taken away the work of trainers and but instructors. But it is certainly much better than the average instructor.